Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my jewellery collection and my storage. So this was kind of a requested video. It came through a long time ago when I asked on my Instagram about video ideas and a few of you said that you'd really like to see A, my jewellery collection, but B, how I store it all because I do actually own a lot of jewellery. I've had a little bit of a downscale recently, but even still my collection is big and it is ever growing. There is a mixture in this video of pieces that I have bought and pieces that I have been gifted. Um, loads of my pieces are from Aurelia, a brand that I really, really love and I am an Aurelia ambassador. I have a discount code down in the description box. So I will try my best uh, when I feature Aurelia items to put a little gifted thing on the screen somewhere, just so you know. But uh, for the most part, the majority of my jewellery I have bought because uh, I am a little bit addicted to buying jewellery and I have uh, most of my jewellery here in this unit, not the whole unit, just the top section and then the top two drawers and I also have a jewellery box over here which I'll show you as well. So yeah, I thought I would just take you through my collection, show you some of my favourite pieces. I will do my best if anything is current to link it in the description box but I hope you enjoy the video and you find it interesting to see how I manage to store everything and keep everything tangle free because that's one of the biggest things that I do struggle with and I think I've come up with a system now which works really well. So yeah, let's get going. So one thing that I've become hugely into at the moment is earrings and I've always been into earrings but recently I'm really, really into big statement earrings and also huggies layering up huggies and I do have several holes in my ear uh, so I am able to wear more than one earring. I think I've got a uh, four in this ear uh, and there is a hole at the top, not that I ever really use it and I think three in the other ear. I've also got my tragus done too so I have plenty of potential for you know creating an ear stack and I'm really trying to sort of build up my collection of um, Huggy earrings and also ear cuffs. Ear cuffs are massive at the moment, there's loads around. Um, so when I show you some of my collection, I'll show you a couple of new ones that I've got. But this is my little earring storage unit here. I often think it's really hard um, to store your earrings so that you can see which ones you've got. And this is not my entire collection. These are just a few that I like to hang up and then I have more in the drawer. So I actually got this little um, stand thing, I think from a charity shop, but I have found similar ones on eBay, so I will link them. And yeah, on here I've got some of my uh, most worn earrings. And it's really nice way to display them. Um, it obviously keeps them from tangling up and it means that you always know where the two pairs are, obviously the two pairs, where the pair is. So as I said, I really love uh, Aurelia and I also adore the Z collection at Accessorize. I have a huge amount of Z collection. Uh, high majority I have bought myself. I have had a few gifted pieces. I did do a project with um, Accessorize in the Z collection um, a couple of years ago, I think. So I got some pieces then. I must confess I haven't bought as many pieces recently from the Z collection uh, but that's because I have been receiving quite a large amount of gifting from Aurelia and obviously there's only so much jewellery that you can wear um, and uh, there's only so much that I can store so I've been wearing my Aurelia pieces more but there's a definite mix of Aurelia and Z collection especially with my earrings. So yeah so we've got some uh, dangly ones here. These are Z collection, old Z collection. Uh, these little star, I love anything star, you'll see that, um, little star drop earrings, some little huggies with um, fangs hanging off them, they are Aurelia, I love Aurelia's huggies, I've got some others. These are also Aurelia, look at this amazing star design, now I think these are still in stock and I got these after I saw them on Chloe Plumstead and I just thought they are gorgeous, um, so I got them. These uh, little tusk hanging earrings, I think they might be older really as well. Then we've got some hoops, oh I love these, how fun are these hoops? So these are from QVC, from the Diamondique range at QVC and um, I just love how brightly coloured they are, um, they've got um, 
stones on the outside and also on the inside as well. Love them, so fun. Little chunky hoop here from Accessorize. Some other dangly ones. One of my other favourite places to buy jewellery from, and you will know this if you've watched some of my uh, other videos, is Romwe and Shein. And I recently bought some new pieces from Shein, some new jewellery. And these little star earrings, droplet earrings, were from Shein. And I bought them because I have a necklace from um, Aurelia, which they will match perfectly. And I just loved the drop of them. These are some little ear climbers from Zed Collection. And then, yeah, I've got a few silver earrings along here. And then some of my bigger hoops along the bottom here. These amazing jeweled face earrings, which I haven't actually worn yet. These were from H&M last year. And then I've got a couple of earrings hanging on the side here. One is my little initial necklace from 47 West. And the other is my little S from Primark. And then I've got some box jewellery just stood up on my unit. These are all my boxed 47 West necklaces because I just really like the packaging. Um, I showed you what's inside them in one of my other videos, uh, in one of my vlogs. So I won't undo each of them, but um, obviously one of my necklaces is there, the little initial one. So I've got them stacked up there. Then I've got my little beautiful ring holders. These are from Oliver Bonas and I adore these. I think they're so pretty with a couple of rings just sat on there. This is a lovely set again from QVC. This was gifted. Um, that is actually diamonds. Dum dum dum. Deborah owns a diamond ring um, with then a teardrop moonstone in the top and it's a little matching set. These are some little mix and match stacking rings from the Zed collection. And then I've got my Kate Spade jewellery boxes here. So if you watch my last video, you'll know that I bought myself another Kate Spade bracelet. Um, so in one of these, which one? In one of these are my silver ones that I already owned. Here we go. So these are my silver ones that I already owned. Um, similar style to the one that I showed you in my last video. I'm going to show you it again just for those people who didn't see the video. They're little snap bracelets, silver with um, stones in, and then this one just has the little um, spade symbol on the front. So they look amazing stacked together, but I just forget to wear them. So, as I said in my last video, I am debating about selling these two silver bracelets because now I have bought this one yeah so now I have this big chunky um tortoise shell one which is so pretty which I got from Bista on my birthday so they both sit on top of there as well just because the boxes are so pretty I like them just uh stacked up there and then this unit is from Ikea. It's one of the Malum units. Um, it's the narrow Malum uh, with the dressing table section in the top. And this lit up uh, with a really nice mirror in the top and it's actually felt lined so you can lay out all your jewellery really neat. And this is where I keep all of my most delicate jewellery that I don't want to get tangled. Um, it's not always this tidy, I'll be honest. I try and keep it tidy um, because there is a lot of my favourite jewellery in here. So this is majority Z collection and a little bit of Aurelia in here. So I'm going to show you some of my favourite pieces in here. So along this end we've got um, sort of all my long necklaces. So these are all Z collection, all past Z collection accessorise. Uh, I either bought them myself or I got them as Christmas presents. Um, I tend to buy Z collection when it's in the sale, I must confess. I, you know me, I like a bargain and uh, yeah, when accessorise have their 70% off sale after Christmas, I always snap up some Z collection then. But it is one of my favourite ever jewellery collections. It's really affordable, it's gold plated, so it's just that little bit better than, you know, just standard costume jewellery. Um, so yeah, we've got a few different long ones here. I love this one with the little coloured um, 
beads on it that'll be really really nice for summer and then along the top are all of my short necklaces so these are all quite delicate um, some of my favourites here is uh, Z Collection Arrow, my Z Collection Moon, um, all of these are Z Collection, past Z Collection. Um, yeah, like I said, I've, I adore anything moons. These two are Aurelia, these are current Aurelia, um, and they are like coin design and then the horn design, so I should be able to link those. I'm not sure if they're gold plated, I think they are. I know that the Aurelia Lux range is gold plated, so then this is one of my favourite necklaces from Z Collection, which has this amazing jewelled eye with the lariat drop down and a little jewelled hamster hand. How beautiful is that? So yeah, these are all laid out nice and neat. Little Z Collection choker, both me and Hannah have this, it's a really easy to wear piece. Then we've got some other necklaces here. This is a Z Collection one I got in the sale. Little Aurelia horn again. These are pretty. These are the Aurelia fangs. So I've got a choker necklace and a matching anklet. Don't think they're available anymore, but I'll have a look. And then this is a really pretty necklace from Aurelia. So this is on a bobble chain. And actually this is a design your own. So you can pick your own charms to go on it. So I've picked a D, a star, a fang and a lightning bolt for Harry Potter to go on mine. But yeah, it's really cute and it comes all um, gift box, which is lovely. Then I've got a couple of bracelets. Um, I think this one's Z Collection, this little bar bracelet. This is a little Aurelia bracelet, really delicate, but with a little um, uh, Labradite. I think it is, crystal on the end, little Z Collection coin bracelet, and then, um, oh actually no, this bar bracelet, I lied, this bar bracelet and this are both from one of my favourite brands, and oh god, I wish I could afford to buy more bracelets from this brand, um, because I adore them, and they look so nice layered up but I can only afford the two. <laughs> um, and that is Astley Clark. They are the most oh, prettiest bracelets. I got this when I was gifted it a long time ago at London Fashion Week um, at an event and I just think it's so beautiful. It would go really nice with the necklace I've got on now, which I'll, I'm gonna show you the jewelry I've got on now in a minute. So it's really easily adjustable with a little um, toggle bead and they all have these little charms that hang off them that are all jewelled and they come beautifully boxed and then yeah I think that this is an Astley Clark bracelet as well this little simple bar and the two of those together look really really nice layered up they're just really really nice stacking bracelets and they come in all different colours and I do you know what I would love a turquoise one for the summer um, but they're not necessarily super cheap. They are a little bit pricey um, for a little bracelet, but that's because they are gold, um, or possibly gold plated. But they're definitely gold in some way, and the stones or the beads are usually um, semi precious. And you know, that's sort of why you're paying that little bit extra because they're really high quality material. So, yeah, I do really like these bracelets. So, the next draw down is a mixture of vintage and costume jewellery and it's a mixture of earrings and necklaces and I kind of tried for ages to find a way to store all my earrings because I got really into big statement earrings last year and I bought so many and I mean I do have a lot but I've got them arranged now sort of into colour and style so it's really easy when you've put on an outfit and you want to choose something to wear it's really easy to come here and think right I need something black or I want something with pearls in it or and I can just come and find them really quickly so I'm really pleased to have found this solution and essentially all it is is a craft storage tub um, so it's one of these um, storage tubs that's supposed to be for beads or you know the like and I've taken the lid off and um, it's just stuck in there with double-sided tape in the bottom of the drawer and there's a little bit of felt on this side for my necklaces so we'll start with the earrings 
but yeah, I've got loads of different types in here, but they're organised into types, so we've got stars, um, pearl earrings here, black, um, really big statement colourful earrings, vintage earrings here, sort of drop hoops, anything tortoiseshelly is in there, resin in here, silver in here, and yeah, it's just really quick and easy to find um, what I want to wear. And then here, on this little bit of felt, are my vintage necklaces. So this is, I used to have a lot more than this. I used to collect necklaces that had watches on the end. And I don't have as many now. Um, so these are the ones that I've kept. These are my favourites. So I've got this um, snake necklace here as well. This I got from a charity shop. This is actually Mark Jacobs ball design on a long uh, bobble chain. Um, this is actually a little perfume holder but I the chain's um, wrapped up somewhere. Yeah, so this is a little ball watch on a chain. And I used to have about 10 of them. I got rid of a lot of them. This is a little watch here with a tassel. Yeah, so that's my little vintage section, mostly long necklaces. Uh, this necklace I've kept because it reminds me of the necklace in the film Teen Witch, which if you've seen, you will get that reference. If you haven't seen, you will have no idea what I'm talking about. And then this is, um, this is interesting, this is a vintage necklace, really long with tassels on, and I actually think you're supposed to wear it, you know, so it drops down your back like that, you know, if you're wearing a backless top. Anyway. I've never worn it, um, but I'm going to keep it, obviously. I like to keep unique things like that, so that just sits there. Earrings-wise, some of my favourites and some new ones. So these are new, uh, little square earrings with a little pearl that hangs off. I'm really into pearls at the moment, so I keep buying earrings with pearls on. They were from Shein, very, very cheap. Then I've got some little pearl hoops, which I had these on yesterday. These have got pearls that run all the way down the front. They look lovely on. So yeah, they live in my little pearl section. What else have we got in here? Oh, you all love these on my Instagram. These really, really big hoops with a pearl that hangs off. These look amazing on. Love them. Again, they were from Runway. I mean, to be honest, I love so many of them. Oh, these are, these are nice. These are a little, um, I wore these in a video before. I think you guys have seen them. These are a little Primark buy, like £2 or something. I buy a lot of my jewellery from Primark. So these will all be a mix of Primark, especially like these type, like resin type earrings. They're definitely from Primark. Tortoiseshell hoops, I think, from um, Next. So that's what lives in that drawer, is earrings and vintage necklaces. And then next drawer down is all of my delicate necklaces that I don't have room for, obviously, in the top drawer. So in this drawer, I have utilised, again, uh, plastic storage. So these little boxes are actually from fake nails. I wear fake nails a lot, and every time I finish a box of them, I keep them. Um, because these are really handy when you go travelling and you want to take jewellery with you. But I've also utilised them here in my permanent storage. So I've got five of them here. Again, I've got some felt in the drawer, just for some necklaces that just lay. These are a couple of chains from Aurelia, uh, which look really, really nice layered up. They're fairly new, uh, gifted. Um, so I'll try and link them. So yeah, let's have a look what's in some of these boxes. As you can see, every single section is filled with a necklace. I told you I have too much jewellery and I don't think I even wear some of this because I forget I have all this. But let's have a little look at some of my faves. So I don't wear silver much. I'm more of a gold uh, person. But I do have a couple of favourite um, silver necklaces. One is this, which is a Stella Bartlett, and is the tiniest little unicorn. Really delicate, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, I love that little necklace. That's really cute for layering up. 
Um, I've also got a really cute little um, starfish necklace. That's from a jewellery box. Um, oh, this, I love this necklace. So, this is called the Tarantella necklace. And this is from a brand called Clobo. You might know of Clobo more for the stacking bracelets, but they also do necklaces as well. This is called a Tarantella necklace. I have got matching earrings somewhere um, in one of these tubs somewhere. So it's a really, really long necklace, but obviously you can put it round twice. You can, you know, you can put it round once like that if you want, or you can put it round twice and then pull it tight or pull the two things the same length but I just think so it's kind of like um, spikes can you see oh and but the thing is what I probably won't be able to get over on camera is that it's on a sort of um, bobble chain and the bobbles on it are slightly faceted which means that um, it twinkles. It's really amazing. So here in uh, his Z collection is the horn necklace that matches those earrings that are hanging up. So that's a coordinating item. I've also got a little um, wishbone here. Uh, this this wishbone's from Muru, which is another um, jewellery brand that I really, really love. They do a really nice collection of um, dream catcher style necklaces, which I've got one here in my silver section. Uh, yeah, so a little dream catcher style necklace. That's from Muru. That's really pretty. Oh, this is this is nice necklace. So this is, you know how I said how much I like moons. Um, this actually matches these earrings here with a star and the moon on the little drop. This is the necklace that matches. And these are from Newbridge Silverware. Newbridge Silverware. And the reason why I really, really like this necklace is because it's really easy to adjust the length that you want to have it at. So it's got a bit like that bracelet I showed you earlier. It's got a slidey bead. So you can have this necklace this long, like this. You just pull the bead and then that chain would hang down at the back and you could have it short like a little choker. And I love that. I love how simple that is to adjust. Sun and moons and stars, all of Deborah's favorite things. And I just think that's really clever um, because sometimes you don't want a long necklace. You want a short one, but you like what's on the necklace. So I think that's really nifty. So over on the other side of my room, um, I have um, a jewellery box um, next to my... This is my little collection of scarves. So I'm going to do a video soon about how I style um, scarves, um, how to wear them. So I'll feature some of them another time and my very large perfume collection. But alongside it is a jewellery box that somebody bought for me for my birthday last year. And so for the last year, I've really been using it and I really, really find it helpful for storage. I don't have everything in here, as you can see, I've obviously got it split up all over the place, but I do have a few key pieces in here. So I'm gonna show you what's inside. So in the top section, uh, I've kind of split it into silver and gold. We've got a little ring storage area here. So these are just a few of my rings. Most of my rings are just costume jewelry. There's nothing necessarily um, that posh in here. I've got a ring here from, um, uh, shop Dixie which is a really nice place for jewellery especially if you want to stack it up um, yeah just a few sort of simple silver rings and then these are some of my bigger ones that don't fit in this bit here this is really pretty this is a vintage ring that I found uh, I think at a boot sale or something like that I used to buy loads of vintage jewellery at boot sales oh this is good this is my uh, fake Chanel ring that I got when I went to Egypt, <laughs> lol. Um, 
as if it's a real one. I wish it was a real one. Yeah, just a few mix and match different types of silver rings in there. And then at the front here are just some different um, silver earrings, um, lots of different types, just basic studs really. And then there's some little, my sister bought me these. These are like a little um, dream catcher style, aren't they pretty? Then in the middle section there's just um, some of my huggies. Normally there's more huggies in here, but I've got two pairs in today, which I'll show you at the end of the video what I'm wearing today. Uh, yeah, some other sort of hoops. And then on this side is gold. Again, some bigger rings that don't fit in this section here. Um, again, mostly costume. This is cute though. This is a little vintage ring that's all kind of cut details on it. Then in here, some of my favourite rings. This is a beautiful Z for accessorise uh, ring. This is one of my favourites. I think it's Moonstone in the middle and there's little stars either side on the shoulders. Love that. And again, these are some sort of Z collection rings that you can stack up together. I've got some uh, Misoma here. This is the only Misoma that I own. Wish I owned more, but I don't. Um, so I've got the Tusk. Um, studs which I bought when they were in the sale classic dubs and this is a really nice little set this is a uh, ear climber constellation with a little star earring for the other ear and that's from QVC this is cute this is a little ear cuff this is new this is from Aurelia and I've got my other ear cuff in which I'll show you in a minute so these you just slip onto your ear so I'll show you with my other one that I've got in how you put it on and off then down here we've got various backs, earring backs, and then these are all my earrings that are on cards and I just keep them on the cards so they're easy to see. Um, mostly Z collection. Um, so I can mix and match these in all my different ear holes. In here is lots of miscellaneous charms. Uh, in this little tub are uh, charms that go on different necklaces. You can also hang these on um, these earrings, these simple hoops, they hang on. And then this, in this little bag, this is very nifty. Yeah, you use this little gadget and you hook your earrings, um, sorry, your necklace onto here, so you can put up to three on it. And um, yeah, that keeps your necklaces from getting tangled. So I've just received that and I'm really excited to try that out the next time I layer up my jewellery. So that just lives in that little bag there. And then in this jewellery box, this section actually lifts off. Then under here are all of my bracelets and some brooches. So in here we've got some vintage brooches. This is a little bee, which, oh, I just love this brooch. And um, so I used to restore vintage jewellery. I used to have an Etsy shop and I used to make vintage jewellery into bridal headpieces. This bee brooch was too nice um, to sell, so I kept it. Uh, some of the bracelets in here, just sort of miscellaneous beaded ones, little snakeskin cuff, and then some silver ones here. This is a little bracelet that says, bang on. <laughs> um, some gold ones. Yeah, this is cute. This came from an accessorised press day where you can make your own bracelet and put different pom-poms and things on it. Um, yeah, some of the gold bracelets and bangles, stretchy bracelets. So lots of these are Clobo. So I showed you earlier Clobo necklace. These are my Clobo bracelets. So you can wear these all stacked up in a big, big wrist stack and they look amazing. So that's what's underneath. Um, so that's what everything that's in my jewelry box. And then I've got my watch. I have a couple of watches. But this is my most worn watch at the moment, which is my Esprit watch. Alongside it, we've got a necklace which is new and I haven't worked out where to store it yet. This is a multi-strand necklace from New Look. You've seen it on my Instagram. So I haven't worked out where that's gonna go. So I'll just put it there for now. Then I've got this little mirrored tray of some of my favorite pieces at the moment. So these are new. I'm jumping on the pearl hair clips trend. Finally, whoop. So I bought these ones. So I'll link them for you. These are some new earrings and these are so pretty. These are a little um, hoop with a little shell and a pearl that sits just inside the shell. I think they're Miss Selfridge. Some other pearl hair clips here. And then this is my necklace 
uh, which is from Cezanne. So if you watched my video a while ago, uh, I unboxed a jumper from Cezanne and I debated about whether to keep it or not. I bought it with a voucher that Emma got me. I decided to send it back. It was too itchy and it was too big to be able to be worn the other way around and have the V at the back and that's what I really wanted. So I sent it back and I picked a t-shirt instead with some nice tortoiseshell buttons on and this necklace. So it's um, a shell with a little T-bar, lariat style, and it came in the most beautiful box and pouch. And shells are obviously massive at the moment, um, so that's why I picked it. And yeah, so that's basically what Emma bought me for Christmas, is that little necklace there. And that's everything. Now down in this Malum unit here, in one of the drawers further down, I do have all the original boxes for things, so I keep all my packaging. And down in one of those drawers is some Tiffany jewellery, which I haven't shown you. Um, but yeah, I have a couple of Tiffany necklaces, which were gifts. So they're down there in the original packaging. But apart from that, that is all the jewellery that I own. And that's how I organise it and how I sort of find everything easily. And it didn't always used to be like this. This is quite a recent thing. And when I move house, I'm going to move, obviously, all these systems and keep them because they do really work. So... I'll finish off just by showing you the jewellery that I've got on today because I actually really, really love my jewellery today. So the first thing I've got on is this little black uh, beaded necklace. This is a little Shein purchase and the idea was, was to layer it up with lots of other pieces. For today I've just got it on with this little strapless top. I've actually been for a date today, I had a coffee date this morning and this is what I wore, this little off the shoulder top because I thought it's daytime but it's also flashing a little bit of flesh so it's a little bit sexy but not too sexy for a daytime date so yeah anyway um yeah this little uh, black bobbled necklace so in my ear I have some Aurelia huggies so I've got the crystal spike huggy in first and then there's a black and um black and clear crystal gold huggy just a little black stud and then a little ear cuff so this is sort of a new thing that I'm um, trying out as it were but I just love the way they all look stacked together huggies are tricky to get in to begin with you do have to sort of um, train your ear holes to cope with the because it's quite a tight curve on a huggy so do persist but eventually they, they're really easy to get in so I'm going to try and show you um, how you put this ear cuff in. So, this is what it looks like, the ear cuff. It's a little bobble one from Aurelia. So, let's see if Debs can do this. So you, let's get rid of my hair. So you pop it on over your ear at the top and then push it down like that and then you just uh, slide it down. Usually I have a mirror to do this, there we go. Yeah, and you slide it down and then it just rests there. And then I've got the other one that's chunkier with uh, pearls in it. But yeah, this is my jewellery today. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing my jewellery collection and how I store everything. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And of course, do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you again next time.